Okay, I need to spend the morning in the garden weeding. I'm realizing I really need to harvest the rhubarb. I already, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a whole ton of rhubarb here already. There's like double that still in the garden. I thought I'd take you with me because it's, because it's pretty. I should probably do something with it. I think I'm gonna either freeze it or make some rhubarb sauce. Maybe a rhubarb tart. Possibilities. Now that I'm doing things with my life and garden and trying stuff, I think our tart would be cute. Let's do that. Probably should have thinned this at some point, but I didn't. The neighbor's dog is here. <laughs> no, get out of the pond. like a fountain thing an extra an additional fountain there's too many things going on ah! i got a fountain thing for the other side of the pond because i was told that it would be helpful for the algae air circulation i don't know but this is what we're doing hello frog oh my god i'm getting eaten alive oh my god stop 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 whoa Okay, fast forward a few days. My friends are here. We've been hanging out for a few. Ooh, I just got a bug in my ear. But we stopped at a at a like furniture, like used furniture store, and I found these like four chairs for ten dollars a piece. They're kind of I don't know. Anyway, we're all a little hungover. I'm definitely reupholstering. That should be easy. And then like some of this stuff is a little broken. <laughs> but I can fix it. My dust we settle in the same. Okay, this is actually the cutest, sh like, little shot ever. Oh my god. How oh, is this just the fucking cutest shit? All right, I have my friends with me, so we're... Hi. Okay. Oh my god. This is a body bag we don't know anything about. What if it really is a body? I mean, it's <laughs> kind of small, imagine? though. Can you... Yeah, but like a chopped up body? Stop! What if the arm just falls out? Or just a head. What would we do? What do you think's in there? What would we do if That's I open true. that and like an arm, it would smell Just flopped like out. Here. Yeah. Can you imagine <laughs> if you were like selling a house and you're like, I'm going to just stick a bag down here and it's got like fake. Fake body fake parts body or something. Parts? That'd be so fun. Okay. Now okay. I'm talking myself out of this. No, we got to do it. Oh, I think it's just, oh, it's just a tarp. Oh, it's just oh my God. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. But there's like stuff in it. I don't know. It's like. Wow. Oh, okay. Well, I figured it was that, so we're Damn. good. That was fun. Okay, no idea if you can hear me because the engine in this car is so dang loud, but I'm on my way to my cottages because there's a ton of yard work to do, and I have to run to the hardware store, hopefully to find some things to fix these pipes in the cabin. So that's the lowdown. That's what we're doing, and I'll see you at the cabin. Eee! Oh my god. I love this place. I love it. I love how every time I come here, it's just like a little bit different, you know? I love that about summer. Oh, I planted this lilac tree last year. It doesn't smell yet. I don't know if it'll bloom. I mean, it's obviously blooming, but I can't wait for it to get bigger. I just have so many things to do here. I'm so excited. I have returned to the cottage. 
and I was given things for the pipes by a friendly man in the hardware store. I don't know where I put those things, so that would be useful. Excuse me, Hannah. They're long copper pipes and a bag of goodies. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? You'd think I would come in here and put them, oh, I did. Okay, so there is a burst bit here and a burst bit here. Here a bit, there a bit, everywhere a little bit. You know what's making me feel better about this is that I noticed that there's this thing here, which I think these little, these little connector things, I think that means that somebody else replaced this little bit of pipe at some point. So I'm not the first one to do this. This pipe is a problem, apparently. We forget about it. Okay, first up, my new friend told me to I cut out the pipe. Okay, this thing adjusts, and then you just go around and around. Who knows, I've never cut pipe before, but this is kind of fun. I love learning new things. So you tighten this, and then as you go, you just keep tightening it because it's cutting through the pipe, so it's obviously the circumference is getting smaller. I am doing a lot of talking. I feel like this would be easier for me if I was on a stool. Spin your metal cut around and around. Oh, there's a lot of work. Oh, there's like a little groove in there. It's working. <laughs> they sold me a tool that works. Oh my God. It really, really worked. They weren't kidding. That was unexpected, but pleasant. That's fun. Who knew you could do this kind of thing so easily? Not me. this. Why do I feel like this is gonna be like actually a surprisingly easy fix? Like it felt like it wasn't gonna be. What he didn't do is teach me how to put this on. It looks like something you just twist. No. What do you do? Today we are installing a sharp pipe max push to connect fitting. These fittings are perfect for transitioning pipe types and are compatible with PEX, copper, CPVC. Listen to Tommy. So they, with the sharp bite depth and deburr tool. You just push it on? Why wouldn't the water leak? I'm confused and a little bit nervous. There's only one way to find out. Hey, that, that baby's on there. Now I gotta measure my bike. You didn't show me that part. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I feel like I need a different kind of pipe. I don't understand. I thought it would maybe be easy and it's not. Oh, that one has a little push. Never mind. I might actually be able to do this. Okay, 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 we got this. Let's see. Can you measure that? They just don't seem like they would seal very well. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what's sealing it. Tell me why. Where's my handy dandy cutter? Honey, where's my super suit? Why do I think about that all the time? We've got the metal pole. Shove that on in there. There ain't no way. I don't know what he was thinking. How on earth does he think I'm gonna connect that? I mean, I can cut the thing a little bit shorter, probably. But that doesn't seem like it's gonna work. I think I need like a plastic pipe so that it bends. Do it, yes she can. Oh my God. It just seems like it's gonna leak. I don't know why it wouldn't. There's nothing stopping it, right? It's just gonna just go. Should I turn the water on and find out? Okay, I will. See, Dora. All right, well, you guys are gonna see it here first if it starts leaking everywhere. So you you pay attention and yell if it starts leaking and I'll turn it off immediately. Shit. Oh no, there's another burst pipe. Oh no. I don't know what to do about it. Ah! Well, apparently I didn't check thoroughly enough. Freaking frick. This one's holding up nicely though. Damn it. Okay, see, this one did leak. That's it. I'm not cutting corners the next time I try this. I'm gonna figure out how to solder it. <laughs> Is it soldering? I'm gonna do it the right way. And also, now I know I have another leak over here. Okay, well, at least I found the leaks. So that's good. You dry out. <sighs> good night. Most of you already know that I recently launched my company, Loop and Lane Co. This footage shows me unboxing some new sample pieces of jewelry, which I can't show you yet because they're not done. So instead, I wanted to tell you about Shopify, the platform that hosts my storefront and is also sponsoring today's video. 
Shopify's easy-to-use commerce platform has made it incredibly easy for me to manage my website and orders. From customizable templates to secure payment processing, Shopify has everything you need to create a professional and polished online store. One of my favorite features is their back-end analytic page, where I can poke around and compare data, keep track of orders, and gain so many other fun little insights. What really sets Shopify apart, however, is the level of support and resources available to users. With 24-7 customer service, Shopify is committed to helping its users succeed. This is especially important and for those who are new to selling and fulfilling orders, like me, as it can be a daunting task to navigate on your own. Shopify powers millions of different businesses and entrepreneurs in 175 different countries. So whether you're a seasoned business owner or just starting out, Shopify has everything you need to get started and grow your business. If you'd like to try it out, click the link in the description and you can get a free trial. A couple days have passed, but it is me. It is I. It is the version of myself that decided to just learn how to solder. So I got a basic plumbing soldering kit. And I'm going to do a trial run right now just to figure out how it works. And then I'm going to do the pipes in the bathroom. I'll have some unclean spots, which would most definitely prevent your solder from joining both the pipe and fitting together. Just chuck it up, insert the pipe, and brush it under three seconds. The same thing could be done with your fitting brush. Now that the pipe and fitting are clean and deburred, let's talk about the fluxing part. Give the same result as if you hadn't applied any. Okay, I'm really nervous. I'm trying this outside first because I don't know what I'm doing. Fire shit. Oh, the mosquitoes are out here. I forgot about these. The guy in the video said not to use too much flux and not too little. That's where we're at. Said also not to use it on the inside of the, this. Let's use excessive. I'm scared. Oh my god, it's happening. Oh my god, it's happening. Not as pretty as his was. Scary, scary, scary. Okay, so I gotta put flux on everything, is what we're saying? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Did anyone else do shitty soldering jobs over here? Now watch me whip. Now watch me nay nay. Okay, plumbers, I appreciate you. You guys are cool. You do cool things. If I had a little money. What the fuck? I grabbed the wrong pipe. Shit! He soldered the thing on the wrong pipe. That's okay, I can cut this one, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Big ol' dummy. Whoa, whoa, all the things I can do. I just broke something. Can you get in there, please? Oh, stressful. That looks pretty good, I think. Watch me panic do this once again. You know, I think I'm getting like slight better at this but it's still not pretty okay guys oh my god theoretically uh, i can turn the water on i don't want to have failed i want to have done it right i want it to work and i also don't want to turn the pipes back on or the pipes turn the water back on and find out i have another burst pipe somewhere <laughs> all right i'm gonna go turn on the thing yell if you hear anything here we go <gasps> oh my god. There's a leak back here. Fuck, 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 fuck. No. Where is it? Where is it happening? Fuck. Okay, it sounds like there's a leak, but maybe it's just the water turning back on. What do we think? Oh, fuck, I don't know. Ah! It doesn't seem like there's a leak. Is it just the toilet making that noise? I'm stressing out. Is it just because this is like not open what if i turn it off let's try again oh my god i'm so scared my pipes didn't leak though <laughs> okay let's just listen did my pipes leak <gasps> they didn't leak there's no leaking i did that okay i'm gonna attempt to turn the toilet back on <laughs> Okay, y'all, I think I fixed the problem. I hear no leaking. Pipes aren't leaking. The cold water is working. But you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to wash the dishes because it's been a long time. So many things over here. 
Wow, this has been a long process. I really came over here for like spring clean and then I spent so much time dealing with this. Is something leaking somewhere? I can't tell. It's not when I'm quiet, but if I turn it on, it blows up. Boop, boop, boop. Wow, running water. You don't know what you got, so let's go. Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you got till it's gone? They pay paradise and put up a parking lot. All right, I was just about to leave, but you know what I decided? I was like, oh, I'm gonna figure out why the hot water isn't, uh, there's no pressure. You know what helps with hot water pressure? Opening the valve to the hot water tank. So, hot water tank's filling now. Sorry to my plumber who I texted at seven o'clock at night. By the time I get here tomorrow, I can turn on the heat for the hot water and have hot water. I will have hot water here. That's gonna be real nice. I'm gonna get out of here and I'll see you in the morning. I was gonna say good morning, but it's more like good day. There's a lot of noise going on in there. Uh, the music is going and also my faucet is going because now that the pipes are repaired, I just came back this morning and I am letting the water run just now just to like, it's it's a little bit brown right now because the settling in the pipes and whatnot, so. But meanwhile, I figure I might as well take advantage of the water needing to run to take all of this stuff out, which I should have done before, but we all make mistakes and I make a lot of them. And I'm actually gonna clean the cottage today because that's what I came here to do a couple weeks ago and ended up doing this. So it's about ding dang time. I don't know if my eternal optimism gets old for some people, but I feel like every time I run into problems or I run into things that I do that are stupid, I uh, that music too loud one sec. <laughs> Running into things like this where like, okay, did I not do the base work and I'm like, I could be mad at myself for not having cleaned everything out, but like immediately my brain goes to, well, this is a good excuse to clean everything. I mean, I probably wouldn't have. <laughs> if I hadn't gotten dust over everything. So this is like a great excuse to like really get everything wiped down, cleaned out, maybe go through old stuff and get rid of it. That's a spider. Oh, you're still alive. And I did the same thing with the bathtub. Like the pipes were leaking. So I was like, well, this is a good opportunity. Well, the water's off to take the bathtub out. It's just, it forces me to do things that I normally wouldn't do. And I don't know, I just get less angry that way. I don't know, maybe that helps you reframe your own mind about how to handle sit, like less than ideal situations, but it's just my automatic, so take that for what you will. show you this because this room is so teeny tiny. I have these old like farmhouse windows that have been sitting in my yard forever. If you guys remember Trek, he worked like a little construction job when he lived here. They would have like scrap piles from demo work that they were doing. And so he gave me these like, oh, to like pokey things down my shirt. What is that? Anyway, he gave me these like old farmhouse windows that they took out of this property. I don't know if they'd work in this. This is the most giant one. I have smaller ones, so maybe those would work better, but. Oh my god, like can you imagine? Oh, that would be so pretty. Oh my god, it's kind of heavy. Like, is there a way to like waterproof the wood? If there is, I bet I can figure it out. I can figure most things most things out. <laughs> I'm taking you guys with me on this journey. I feel like I've been showing you a lot of me Googling things lately, and that's because I don't know what I'm doing a lot of the time. <laughs> and I'm showing you how I learned. It's a lot of Googling. And also, I've been feeling so overwhelmed by this window thing. I've, I've yet to cut a hole in the exterior of my house. Like, I've cut holes on the inside, but it's scary to cut it on the outside because it's structural, and, like, if I frick up, it's fricked up. Animals can get in, and, like, it needs to be kind of, like, an all-in-one thing, I think. Well, I guess, whatever. Okay, I digress. Um, I was gonna talk about, like, tarping it. Okay, stop 
Hannah, stay on track. So I'm just Googling right now and like my brain, I'm like, okay, what's step one? Step one is just besides it being varying factors of it, it's like a farm window, it's old, it's wood, it's gonna be in a shower, is that bad? Like, how do I seal it? All of those things, out of my head right now. We'll deal with that later. I'm just Googling how to freaking cut in a window. That's it. <laughs> And honestly, just by doing that, it's made the whole project seem a little more easy. I'm like, oh, I have the tools to cut a wall out. <laughs> like, maybe this won't be so hard. It's step one, cut a hole. But what goes into that? Like, what do I need to know about, like, the studs that are there, the framing outside of the window, you know? So that's what I'm going to learn right now. And I will watch this full video, but you will be skipped ahead. Window install on a blank wall. Been doing lots of reading. We're gonna try to figure this out together. I'm gonna draw things. Okay. So this is what I have. This is called a sash. It's just a window with nothing around it. I need to build a frame for it that is going to have stops the window into the frame. And that's it. That's all I know. And then cut a hole out of the wall. Those are really not even spacing on the studs there. But then I'm going to do a header. So that means it's a thicker board. And then screw some. Okay. And then this goes in there. This is so complicated. But yes, I think I get it. Well, good morning. I have the dog just for today. The bugs are bugs are okay. They're not driving me completely insane right now, but to be fair, I've only been outside for about a second. <laughs> and I'm really sick of this stuff being in my driveway. That is all sand and slab stone for the little courtyard, little big, the giant courtyard I decided to make in the back. So I got, I don't know, like a third, a half, a third done last year. So many thousands and thousands of pounds of hauling. I have to add sand over all this gravel and then bring all the slab stone in. So I think what I'm going to do instead of just hauling and unloading and hauling and I don't know, I'm going to just haul all up. I'm going to just spend a lot of time hauling that back here. That's it. That's all. I don't know why I needed to explain that to you. Outfit change because it's hot. And also, I realized that I don't have any clean clothes here, so I'm gonna try uh, get this little washing machine started and run a cycle to let it clean itself out. And then I'll do a load. I'm just hoping it still works after this winter. And yes, I know I look like a boy. I'm well aware. So I just have it connected to the hose, but now I can't figure out where the hose went. Where did I have it hooked up? Okay, but where does it connect is what I really need to know. This is a crusty hose, that's for sure. What was it connected to? Why did I disconnect it? I don't remember how I had things. We're gonna relearn. I see, I see. Oh my God. How does that even happen? What the frick? I don't think you guys can see this, but there's a frog smashed onto this. Oh. I don't want to touch you. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. I've connected with the hose that is not leaking. Well, that sounds like it's working. Oh, it's good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Here I go. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be the man who goes along with you. So beautiful. Good boy.
life is so hard, isn't it? I'm tired. I also really need a shower, but I also need to cut open these sandbags that I hauled yesterday. Just a casual 4,000 pounds of sand. Good morning to me. You're gonna get run over. Trying to cross the road. I don't know where you're trying to go. This seems like rough terrain. This looks better. There you go. Be safe. One turtle at a time, folks. Okay, anyway, motorcycle class tomorrow. 